It is Monday. Really tired today. So I'm gonna do some yoga to wake up a little bit and I'm cold so I have this blanket wrapped around me. Guys! I just whipped out the perfect little black dress. So let me do a try on. Look at the detail. I love how the skirt has two tiers. That's the brand, and I've never really heard of it before, but in case anyone was wondering. I'm so excited to wear this. I decided I wanna crochet berets this week and maybe drop some on my website. I have a lot of like scraps to go through. I'm thinking of just doing a bunch of berets and using my scrap yarn and just combining different like fiber types, colors, textures. So I'm deciding if I want to do like a granny style, like a granny square but circle or just like a double crochet style. But I think I'm gonna go with the granny square. I saw Free People was selling something similar. So I think what I would need to do to achieve that look is to do like a, not a granny square, like a granny any circle and then just increase it out once it gets to the band part that goes on your forehead decrease rapidly so it kind of like pulls it in at the bottom that's how i guess you would do it we're gonna try it and see how it works out and i'm gonna use this white yarn just to test it out just before i start doing any different colors and textures because i just want to write out what i do so i can just follow that as i go along we're gonna start the prototype today and see how it goes and guys i'm literally embarrassed and if you know me in real life you know i'm such a like fixation person and i just like hop from hobby to hobby in the grand scheme of things what has stayed constant is always like fashion and making clothes that is the umbrella that i'm always working under but right now all i want to do is sew but i'm such a beginner and i'm not good at it yet so it's like frustrating for me anyways this is a rant i'm kind of on a sewing fixation my new venture is sewing swimwear it is january why are we sewing swimwear i don't know I think I saw a TikTok probably. I went to Joanne's because I had to get one of these twin needles and I don't have a serger, which is stressing me out. I feel like I need a serger, but they're so expensive. Of course, I went to the fabric section just to look and I try to get all my fabric from the thrift store, but swimwear fabric, you can't really find it in like bulk. For example, you can use like a bed sheet to sew a top or whatever, but like swim fabric's a little bit harder. I tried looking in the swimsuit section. There's not enough like fabric to make like a whole new swimsuit. So anyways, I bought some from Joann's. It's like this gray olive color. It's really stretchy and it's kind of shiny too. You can't really tell. I guess I'm gonna try to make a swimsuit at some point once I have time. I bought like elastic, that's chlorine, salt water, and suntan oil safe. And then also just like matching thread. I'm kind of like a throw everything at the wall and see what sticks kind of person. So we're just going. We're just going with life. But like, why not try to do everything? I can try to do a video on me sewing a bikini, but it's probably going to be a fail. So I'm doing my nails. That's how the nails turned out. I did a matte top coat. I just like the combo with this green. But this is the progress that I've made on the beret so far. I have this beret underneath it that kind of is... <laughs> what I'm basing the size off of. So that's the top and this part kind of will come in and then I think I'll probably use a smaller hook for the band. And like I said, that's just a prototype. So it might be different cause I'll be using different kinds of yarns. So we're just gonna experiment this week and see how it goes. I've just been sitting here and practicing sewing cause I told you guys yesterday that I wanted to try to make a swimsuit and <laughs> Here's my first attempt at it. So this is just a prototype. It's not actually like swimsuit material. It's just a polyester shirt that I bought. You can see the remnants. I just traced a bikini that I already owned to make a pattern. Yep, that's the first attempt at the bikini bottom. And I watched a ton of YouTube videos on how to make swim bottoms already. From afar, it doesn't look bad at all. Obviously these side seams suck, but I'm not gonna wear these until I redo them. But from afar, honestly, I actually think it looks pretty good. And I didn't add elastic yet. That's what I'll do on like the final product. But I just find that swim material is so expensive and it's really hard to thrift like that fabric or enough of it so i want to get it down before i start on the swim fabric that i actually bought from joann's it honestly looks pretty good in this lighting i also undid the entire beret because i didn't like how big it was so we're gonna start over we're gonna use a smaller hook this time it's the next day but here is how the beret turned out a little 360 
I actually frogged it like three times, the entire thing, and redid it. I'm liking the shape of it now. It's a little bit big still, but I like the way that it looks like that. So now I'm gonna make some in some different colors. I've been working on this one. It's like baby blue, green, and brown. I want to do like a ton of different colors and textures and stuff, and then probably put them up on my site sometime. I think you guys will really like these. I don't know, I think they're super cute. I've been really liking berets this season, so I'm excited to be making some. And I definitely look like a muffin, but yay. And when I take it off, it's gonna look ginormous. I know that happens to me all the time, so. We got a rug. I just woke up. I woke up early today because we're gonna have a crocheting marathon. I already have two berets, but I'm on my third and it's supposed to rain all day, so. I've been crocheting all morning, but these are the berets that I have done so far. This one is a little bit more funky than like these. These are all done with acrylic yarn that I'm just trying to use up because I'm trying to transition out of using acrylic yarn. I just have a lot that I like thrifted and stuff. Um, so that's what this is, and then this is just a ton of scraps, so I have this, like, acrylic wool blend. This was from a sweater that I took apart from the thrift store, um, some Surrey silk, and then I think this is a wool acrylic blend, and then the stuff I thrifted, I ended up trimming it a little bit because it was, like, too much. So, that was a lot of information, but that's what I've got so far, and it's definitely a little bit messy in here. I haven't cleaned up. I've just been doing a lot of stuff this week, but look at our new rug. It looks so good. It really just brings everything together, so Elliot was nice enough to go pick it up last night, and then we had to carry it up the stairs. It's like a 9 by 12 rug, and it's heavy, but yeah, we just got it off Facebook Marketplace. It was a guy who actually sells rugs. Like that's kind of his specialty. And I was actually really surprised at how clean the rug was and it doesn't smell like anything. And it just looks really nice in here. And we've been going back and forth on getting rugs. We've been messaging so many people on Facebook, looking at every thrift store. And um, this one, Elliot finally came across. So he was quick and he's a little bit of a Facebook marketplace addict as am i but but i do want to get one more beret done today so i don't have like a color combo idea in my head yet so i'm gonna go for a walk see if i can get some inspiration and we will see what i come across i'm back from my walk just made a huge salad so i took some clips of like color combos that i saw while i was out on my walk and i think i'm gonna do a beret that's like lavender light blue and red so yeah that's just kind of how i pick out color combos sometimes i obviously still use pinterest and stuff to find color combos but one of my favorite ways is to just pay attention and like take photos for later reference when you're out and about it can be awkward sometimes hello Happy Friday. I've been lacking on filming today. I went to the scrap thrift again. This is gonna turn into a scrap thrift fan account. So like I said, it was Friday and I didn't realize that they have 50% off all their fabrics every single Friday. And then they have like grab bags so you can fill up a bag because they have like bins of scraps, like less than a yard, less than half a yard. And you can fill up a bag for like a base price. So they have a small bag you can fill up for $3 and then a big bag you can fill up for $10. But since it's 50% off, the big bags were $5. I filled up a big bag. I'm not gonna show you everything I got just cause I did that in the last vlog and I feel like that's really repetitive. But I'm probably gonna post a TikTok of everything. I'm wearing a grub fit, but this is not a joke you guys. <laughs> so I bought four things of yarn. They retail for like $9, but I got them for three. This was not part of the filler bag, but it's just like some organza. And then I finally got a cutting mat. It's not huge, but they had some. I've been looking for one that's a little bit bigger and I have a tiny one from like the Dollar Tree, but yeah, I just bought this. And these are normally expensive and I didn't realize how expensive they were, but this one was $2. And then the fabric bag. <laughs> like, Just a few more home updates. We're starting to finally feel like moved in because we got the rug, but I just bought this chair for $60 and it just looks really nice. Definitely a steal. We got really lucky on Facebook this week. I mean, I look for stuff every single day. I'm hunting on there. 
it's a good height because it's a little bit shorter so when i'm sewing i'm not like hunched over because i feel like every time i sew for a while my back just hurts i know it's because i was sitting on the stool just like hunching over so it's a little bit nicer that it's lower to the ground so i don't have to bend over as much but yay and the sun is finally out i don't think it's been out all week <laughs> my plants love it I'm trying to organize this nicely, but I just posted it all on TikTok if you want to check it out on there. I'm sure you guys will see this stuff on future videos, so. It is really chilly out, but we just went out for breakfast this morning and because I keep forgetting to film outros. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I hope you enjoyed. So yeah, like, comment, and subscribe. I love to read you guys' comments on my YouTube videos. Um, I read every single one, so follow me on Instagram to keep up with what I'm making, and can't wait to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye!